Hey everybody, welcome to Hawkeye Skunk Works. I'm Joe, let's talk about light bars. Now, uh, I'm just gonna make a real short video talking about the light bar on the front of my Explorer in the bumper. I had a couple people ask me some details about it. So like I said, real quick, let's go over what we've got here. Okay, so let's take a look at what I did to install this light bar. Uh, you can see that I got everything cut out of the bumper, which I already showed you in the previous video. To show you inside here the frame rails the best that I can. Uh, you can see I just kind of notched that out a little bit there and of course cut all the, some plastic out of the shrouding. This is my block heater that was mounted up here that I'll show you the bracket for later. And here's the other side of the frame rail where you can see I just cut kind of a, an inch by inch notch out of it. it should not affect any of the structural integrity. Uh, down here, this is what I'm bolting my brackets to. Those, that hole was already there. That uh, hole was already there on that side as well. And I did trim the uh, header panel, or whatever you want to call this, as well, up until the uh, impact sensor bracket. So here is the light bar, it's a 22 inch light bar I bought off Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description if I remember uh, to which one I got exactly. And it is on some two inch uh, angle iron and some one inch, one and a half inch square tubing welded on top. And that is how I mounted it. There is the bracket for the block heater. I just unbolted that from the header panel in there, flipped it and bolted it to this and I'll show you all that after it's installed. And I've already had this in once so I know it all works. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt it in and then I'll show you. Now if you remember from my body lift video, um, uh, I've said that the bumper kind of stretched height wise because it lifted the top of the bumper but the bottom of the bumper still kind of stayed connected to the chassis, if you will. So what I ended up doing was going in and I removed that little grill insert in there and cut out any excess plastic so that I could mount this light bar. This light bar is nothing special. Uh, I just got it off Amazon. I'll look through and see if I can post a link in the description to what, uh, what it is. The dimensions are from the side to side, the body of the light bar is about 21 and a half, and the mounting brackets was 23 inches center to center. And that's what uh, I mounted on the brackets that I made. So I've run it for about nine months. Um, I haven't had any heating or cooling issues with it down there in front of the radiator, and I've been really happy with it. So I hope that answered any questions you guys might have. Uh, I know when I was trying to find the right size light bar to go in there, the research that I did, there was not really anything concrete on how people had mounted it otherwise, other than just saying, oh, I mounted it in my bumper. And so was it a pain in the butt? Yes. Was it, would it have been easier if I'd taken the bumper off? I don't know because I needed the bumper on there to to check all my alignment and my spacing and stuff. Uh, is it way over engineered for what it needs to be for just being a stupid light bar in the front of my bumper? Yes, but I had the material and I had the time, so I did it. Um, uh, it's exactly the size and the placement that I wanted, so I'm happy with that. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. Uh, make sure to head on over to Facebook and follow us there. Join the group, like the page. Head on over to Instagram, follow us there, uh, follow us on Twitter, and uh, give it a thumbs up for the video. If you liked it, I really appreciate that. The thumbs up on the videos help more than you know because it promotes uh, my channel more, and we get more Explorer videos out there, which is always a good thing. Stay tuned for more great content, and again, have a great day.